Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. In this tutorial, I will show you three different ways to prepare your hair comb so you can easily attach it to the veil you are creating. Your options are to use a quarter inch ribbon or you can use any leftover tool from your veil. This happens to be my favorite technique. And if you want to match your hair color, yarn or embroidery floss um, is the best option. Also, there are different options for your hair combs. They come in different sizes as well as made from different type of materials. This hair comb is made of plastic and this one is my favorite. It is a metal hair comb and normally the difference in sizes is the teeth count. So let's get started. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. The first option is the quarter inch ribbon. Because the hair comb is about two inches wide, using my own standard of measurement, I just multiply that times five and I get 10 inches. And so I'm just gonna cut it at 10 inches. Next, place it halfway on the comb, then wrap it around the end of the hair comb and then just bring it in between the teeth of the hair comb and then slide it over and then bring it in between the teeth of the next one and then you're just going to continue this process until you get to the very end. When you get to the end of the hair comb, just wrap it around the end and then go back between the teeth of the hair comb and then just do this several times. Then flip the hair comb over, then trim the ribbon and fold it under. And then if you need, just place a pin to hold it in place. And now all you have to do is secure stitch it and you are complete. The next option is using the tool fabric. Using the tool left over from creating your veil, you will be cutting a strip of tool about an inch wide and about 18 inches in length. Again, I'm using my own standard of measurement because the tool is able to stretch. I just took the width of the comb, which is 2 inches, multiplied that by 9, and I got it to cut it at 18 inches in length. Similar to the ribbon technique, I'm going to lay it halfway on the comb and then start wrapping the end of the hair comb about 3 to 4 times. And then I'm going to bring it in between the teeth and then start wrapping about 3 to 4 times in between until I get to the other end of the hair comb. Once you get to the end, wrap the end of the hair comb about three to four times, and then you're just going to move back in between the teeth of the hair comb and wrap that a few times. Now flip it to the back side, trim the tool, and place a pin. Secure stitch, trim the tool, and you are complete with the tool technique. The last option is the embroidery floss. If you would like to match the color of your hair, this would be the best option. Since yarn and embroidery floss has an array of colors, most likely you will find one to match your hair color. Again, I'm using my own standard of measurement. What I did here, I measured it out as if it was tool, and then I just doubled the amount, which came out to be 36 inches. I would cut it at the 36 inch mark, and then again place it in the center of the hair comb, and then wrap the end about four times to make sure the metal is covered, and then start bringing it in between the teeth of the hair comb, and wrap that about four times. And then repeat this process until you get to the other end of the hair comb. When you get to the end, wrap the end about four times and then go back and wrap in between the teeth a few times, flip it over, and then secure stitch and you are complete with a hair comb. And you are now ready to attach it to your veil. Now here are the standard of measurements I used again, but feel free to come up with your own. This is just something I've used over the years. Well thank you for visiting and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. 
If you would like to learn how to make the bandeau veil, please click on the first video clip. If you would like to learn how to make a two-tier veil with a blusher, please click on the second video clip. For more tutorials in the future, please click the like and subscribe button.